Imagine it's Sunday morning. You've been allowed to sleep in as long as you want. You have no chores or responsibilities all day. There's fresh fallen snow on the ground. Your mom makes cinnamon rolls and serves you breakfast. But you're almost three, so you are blind with rage. Good taste can only be developed as a result of early access to the internet and childhood neglect. Have you noticed more people shoplifting in your area? Well, yeah, I saw the British Museum take a few things. <clears throat> I was tempted to get a suit and tie and just say I'm dressed as the scariest monster ever. A member of the IRS. <laughs> Doesn't eat all day. Feels miserable. Has lunch at 3 p.m. Oh. Me staring out the window. Looks like rain. Submarine captain. What? But like, more. Radar pumpkin! <laughs> One of the richest companies in the world can't take the time to get a real pumpkin and cut four squares into it. Like Wallace and Gromit, Vengeance Most Foul debuts at 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. They used up all the Gromit clay for this one, so you have to go see it. There's no more Gromit clay left! Christmas carols? You mean trick-or-treating in December? Yes, but the, the, the exception is the only treat you get is figgy pudding. Pull pork out pork in it? Nah, you good. They all right. They pulled the pork out. All right, Pat, that's what I was thinking. Simple question. What is your favorite food? Aro-san. No. <laughs> Texas teen Alondra Carmona is giving up her entire college savings to help pay for her mom's rent and prevent her being evicted. This is not a feel-good story. It's a dystopian nightmare. No, it's okay, public citizen. They used a picture of her smiling. It's supposed to make you feel like it's a good thing. Don't you understand a new vital of what? He threw up under my bed, so as punishment, I'm giving him body dysmorphia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Tell me your most radical position that cannot be placed on the left-to-right political spectrum. <clears throat> Serving shrimp with the tail still on when it's already mixed into something, pasta, rice, etc. He's insane. See, this is the shit that could probably get us to, like, compromise on things, because I'm sure everyone could agree that's just crazy. I look forward to that one YouTube comment that's like, Um, well, actually! Tech enthusiasts, my entire house is smart. Tech workers. The only piece of technology in my house is a printer and I keep a gun next to it so I can shoot it if it makes a noise I don't recognize. We've assembled 100 people with ADHD and 5 people with no soft skills to manage them and given them a simple goal, make an impossible amount of money. We call it the games industry and we think it's gonna work great. Man, doing that voice, it's really uh, making me want to make a quote-unquote healthier option to fucking preserve the lunchbox kit and sell it to three-year-olds. If you see this... Straighten your back, you banana-shaped fuck. McDonald's can now legally fix its own ice cream machines. Previously, only the manufacturer, Taylor, was allowed to fix them. Friendly reminder, the U.S. Congress provided copyright exemption for this, but not the preservation of video games that are stuck on decades-old hardware or haven't seen re-releases. I understand. It's a very good point. But also, you, you gotta realize, this is like the death of like one of three 40s white women jokes. The ice cream machine is fixed. What 1900 people thought life would be like in the year 2000. Balloon supported lake walking. We've gone the wrong way!